The baby breastfeeding peacefully in the foreground of Domenico Ghirlandaio's fresco in the Church of Santa Maria Novella in Florence is St. John the Baptist. But he is not suckling from his mother's breast. His mother, Elizabeth, is the elderly lady majestically towering over others in the raised bed. According to the Gospel of Luke, Elizabeth and her husband Zacharias were both righteous before God, but trying well into their twilight years could not conceive a child because Elizabeth was barren. One day, Angel Gabriel appeared before Zacharias and told him that God heard his prayers and will bless the couple with a son whose name will be John. Zacharias, not surprisingly, had doubts. To teach Zacharias a lesson in piety and faith, Gabriel made him mute. Despite Zacharias' skepticism, the miracle did eventuate and Elizabeth gave birth to baby St. John. In another fresco of the chapel, Ghirlandaio depicts a second scene related to this miracle, where Zacharias writes on a tablet the words his name is John, thus reaffirming his faith, regaining his speech and praising God. The birth of St. John the Baptist fresco, however, is a woman's domain. Aristocratic women of the rich and powerful Tornabuoni family, the prominent Florentine bankers closely linked to the Medici clan, are present here in Elizabeth's chamber. The beautifully adorned young woman leading the visiting party, Giovanna degli Albizzi, was the first wife of Lorenzo Tornabuoni. She gave birth to her first son, Giovanni di Lorenzo, in October of 1487, less than a year before the birth of St. John the Baptist fresco was completed. Little Giovanni was named after his grandfather and Ghirlandaio's illustrious patron, Giovanni Tornabuoni. The chamber itself is depicted in a typical Quattrocento style, and the women are dressed in luxurious contemporary Florentine fashions. By including his patrons in an important biblical scene, Ghirlandaio elevated and underscored their noble status. The fashion and the architecture, though, are not the only contemporary features of 15th century Florence here. A nurse is breastfeeding St. John the Baptist not because Elizabeth is not capable of doing it herself. Rather, this is what would happen to any aristocratic woman after giving birth. Early modern noble women did not breastfeed their babies because they needed to procreate tirelessly in order to produce male heirs and extend their bloodline. It was much more common for women of the lower classes to breastfeed and consequently they also had far fewer children. The beautiful Giovanna herself is a testament to this phenomenon. The sad irony of this seemingly joyful scene of the beginning of new life is that a year after she gave birth to her first son, Giovanna degli Albizzi died in October 1488 while pregnant with her second child and soon after the birth of St. John the Baptist fresco was finished. <laughs>